Hey everybody, Miss Dietrich here helping you on lesson 13.4, Measures of Variability from the 6th grade Go Math. Number 7 says, the prices of 6 food processors are $63, $59, $72, $68, $61, and $67. What is the mean absolute deviation for the data? Before we can begin, it will be necessary for us first to find the mean of the set of data. To do that, we have to add up all of these values, and then we're going to divide by how many there are, which in this case is 6. So I'm going to go ahead and pump those numbers into the calculator. So we have 63 plus 59 plus 72 plus 68 plus 61 plus 67. And we get, for a sum, I'm just going to drag that number over here so we have it, we get 390. We're going to take that number, divide by how many values, so recall there are six values here, divide that by six, and we get 65. So that's the mean, and that's going to be true for each, each box. So we can just write that several times. I'm just going to keep cloning this. No, oh, it's not really working. Well, how about I just pencil it in? We'll do it that way. That'll be faster. So 65, 65, 65, and 65. All right. Now to figure out the distance from the mean, all we have to do is subtract the two values from each other. And we don't have to be concerned if we have, in this case, some people might get nervous because they might think to themselves, how do I subtract 65 from 59? You can reverse these because we're really interested in the absolute value or the distance they are from each other. So let's think, how far apart are these two from each other? You might have to work in this direction. 65 minus 63 would be 2. 65 minus 59, whenever in doubt, whenever you're not 100% sure, because some people in sixth grade are not really sharp with their facts, just take the larger number and subtract the smaller number from it. And in this case, we get 6. Let's put that in that box. All right, again, if you're not sure, just... Uh, Clear your calculator, 72 minus 65, we get 7. Here we're going to subtract, actually that's pretty easy to do in our head, so let's do that in our head. That's going to be 3, and this is pretty easy to do in your head also, 4, and then here we get 2. Really they're all easy to do in your head, but if you're not real sharp, sometimes you can get your head can get mixed up a little bit. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to find the sum of all of these numbers, because basically when they're asking for mean absolute deviation, sometimes called MAD, you're really finding, on average, how far away are these numbers from the mean, and these are the distance that they are from the mean. So let's go ahead and uh, add up all these numbers, and again, you should be able to do this in your head, but when you have a calculator and you're not real sharp with your facts, sometimes it's best to just go ahead and use the calculator. So we're going to do 2 plus 6 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 equals, and we get 24 for a sum, and we're going to divide that by how many values there are, which remember there are 6, divided by 6 equals. So we get a mean absolute deviation of 4. 4 dollars is your final answer.